Welcome to MMA Play 365. I'm Newsom, and I'm here to give you the Bayes AI recap from our UFC prediction software for last weekend's UFC event at UFC Vegas 61, which was headlined by Mackenzie Dern versus Yan Zhaonan. And that's actually where we start, and we also start in the value section there as well. So Yan Zhaonan versus Mackenzie Dern. Now, with this being in the value section, you might have already guessed if you've been here before that it is a prediction that Bayes AI got slightly incorrect. However, the one good aspect of this is Bayes AI did predict the fight to be much closer than the betting line suggested. So Bayes AI had Yan Zhaonan to win at 46%. Odds implied, that's plus 117. So Bayes AI was basically saying it's a relatively close fight. It could go either way. We are siding slightly with Mackenzie Dern. Yan Zhaonan should be a very, very slight underdog at, at plus 117, but actually you would have got plus 222 on Yan Zhaonan. So if you are using Bayes AI from a value perspective, even though you think, you know, Bayes AI has predicted Mackenzie Dern to win, but I like Yan Zhaonan and I like the value that it's presenting, that Bayes AI is presenting as well compared to the bookies odds, then again, that would have been a winning ticket for you as well. So Again, Bayes AI, an incorrect pr prediction there on Yan Zhaonan and Mackenzie Dern, but just basically saying that the, the line should be much closer to a pick -em than what the actual odds suggest. But if you want to go a little bit step further into that, Yan Zhaonan to win by decision was 28%. Odds implied that's plus 257. You could have got plus 380 on the betting line. So again, I know that Yan Zhaonan wasn't predicted to win by Bayes AI. However, if you did want to play that value shot and then you did want to go that one step further and think well actually Yan Zhaonan to knock Mackenzie Dern out is unlikely submit is almost impossible the decision was the more likely way that Yan Zhaonan was actually going to win that fight so there was value on the decision there was value on the money line compared to what Bayes AI was comparing against the actual odds at the bookies and in the next fight in the value section that we're going to be talking about Again, similar to the Yan Zhaonan and Mackenzie Dern situation that I've just spoken about, Daniel Santos versus John Castaneda. Now, Daniel Santos was actually an official bet from me. And to be honest with you, regardless of the way that you saw that fight, whether you're looking at it from a Bayes AI perspective or whether you were following you know, my own analysis, that fight really could have been, could have gone the other way. You know, Daniel Santos dropped twice in the first round. He was on skates, stanky legs within that first round as well. And ultimately, Castaneda just tied himself out trying to finish Santos and, and failing. And then Santos came back, knocked him out round two. So that's how the fight went. But from a base AI perspective, it did say that Daniel Santos to win was at 44%. Odds imply that's plus 127. So again, Bayes AI is saying that it sh Santos should have been an underdog, but only a very slight underdog. But you could have got plus 175 on Santos, plus 160 as well. Personally, I got plus 175. So again, if you're using Bayes AI from a value perspective, you really can get that value on Daniel Santos betting him at plus 175 when Bayes AI is saying that he should only be plus 127. But you could take this one step further as well. So Daniel Santos to win inside the distance, that's adding the knockout and submission percentages together. Bayes AI was saying should have been at 28%. So it was saying 28% for Santos to win by knockout or submission. And odds implied, that's plus 257. You'll also get a disqualification in there as well from the bookies also. So Bayes AI was saying that Santos to win inside the distance should have been plus 257. You could have got plus 400 on that at the bookies. So again, if you thought Daniel Santos was going to win the fight, but you wanted a little bit more of a riskier play, but a more reward higher play then you could have gone for the inside the distance and again that would have cashed for you as well also just to mention it was an incorrect prediction you know i, I have all alluded to that by saying it was similar to the anjown and the mckenzie Dern. so it was a slight incorrect incorrect prediction from Bayes ai but it was also saying that the betting lines should have been much closer than they were and that was proved as well. Now, finally, in the value section, we go to Randy Brown versus Francisco Trinaldo. Now, this is a little bit different to the other two because this was a correct prediction from Bayes AI. But the reason why I put it in the value section is because Bayes AI said that the odds should be much, much closer than what the, the betting line suggested. And it played out exactly like that as well. So let me break that down for you. Randy Brown to win, Bayes AI was saying should have been 52%. So Bayes AI was saying Randy Brown, 52% chance of winning. 
Odds implied is minus 108. So Bayes AI is basically saying that this should have been a pick -em. Now, the actual odds on Randy Brown were around minus 350 at close. So I said I, I mentioned something on Twitter about this personally and said that Randy Brown's odds were just ridiculous and there's no way that it can be justified betting on Randy Brown. And then when I saw Bayes AI's predictions, that definitely tailed within what I said as well. And that's exactly what we saw inside the fight. You know, it was close 29-28. Some people were saying that round two could have gone either way. But for me, it should have been a draw. Randy Brown should have had a point deduction for grabbing the fence. So all in all, when you're looking at the fight and how it played out, it absolutely should have been closer to a pick -em. There was no way Randy Brown covered minus 350. So although Beze, I did predict to the right side here, it was not only predicting the right side, but it was saying that actually you should be careful because Randy Brown shouldn't be this big of a favourite. He should be a, a, a lot, the line should be a lot shorter, a lot closer. So again, you can look at that in different ways. So it was a good prediction from Bayes AI in regards to picking the outright winner, but it was also a good prediction from a betting perspective as well. And now we're moving into the solid winner section. We're going to start with Chelsea Chandler versus Julia Stoliarenko. So Bayes AI had Chelsea Chandler to win at 51%. Odds implied, that's minus 104. You could have got Chelsea Chandler at plus 100 or plus 115, depending, it was around there, depending on what books you were using and, you know, where you were located, etc. So there wasn't a ton of value, but there was still absolutely some value. When you've got, a when Bayes AI is saying that it should be a minus in front of your fighter's num betting line number and you're getting a plus, there's always going to be value there. So Chelsea Chandler, definitely a solid winner. And like I said, she was dominant. There was a few moments where you were, where you were a little bit, oh shit, is Stolyarenko going to get this arm bar or is she going to be able to dominate on top? But you know, after those few moments subsided, it was all Chelsea Chandler. She ended up finishing it and had been a comfortable winning ticket for you as well. Also, as an underdog. And in the next solid winners section, we've got Hayoni Barcelos versus Trevin Jones. Hayoni Barcelos was dominant. Barcelos to win the Bayes AI had it at 65%. Odds implied, that's minus 186. Now, at close, you weren't going to get much value here. As he closed around minus 250, so there wasn't any value there at close. But however, during fight week, he was minus 180 at some point, which means he would have been slowly climbing. So there would have been some value at some point throughout fight week, just not at the end of fight week. But yeah, Barcelos was dominant. Bayes AI at 65%, Adam at minus 186 you could have got some value there and ultimately a winning ticket on a dominant fight and the final solid winner the final solid winner within this section we've got brendan allen versus christoph jocko now there's an absolute gem or multiple gems inside here and i'll run through them all really really solid prediction from Bayes ai so brendan allen to win Bayes ai had at 55 percent now, odds implied, that's minus 122. So, Bayes is saying that Allen should be a favourite, but a very slight favourite, relatively close fight, but one that Allen should win very slightly. Now, odd, that was your odds implied at, my, at minus 122. You could have got plus 100 to plus 115, like I said, with Chelsea Chandler, depending on your book is, when you bet it throughout fight week, etc. But again, you've got a minus number in front of Bayes AI's prediction to a plus number in front of the odds at the bookies. There's always going to be value there. And there was absolute value. But then you go even further. Brendan Allen to win inside the distance. That's your knockout and submission added together. Allen is more of a submission specialist, but he has been improving his striking so a knockout I, I wouldn't have been completely surprised if it happened if you didn't want to make that choice you just wanted inside the distance which as i've already mentioned gives you a dq as well 38 percent inside the distance odds implied that's plus 144 you could have got plus 275 at the book is of inside the distance so that's you have got to worry about alan finishing jocko but you don't have to worry about how the fight ends so Plus 275 on the bookies betting line compared to your plus 144 odds implied at Bayes AI. There's a ton of value there. But again, as you can as you might have guessed, we're going even further. Brendan Allen to win via submission. Like I've already said, he's a submission specialist, a grappling, really solid grappler. Allen to win via submission was 28%, which odds implied is plus 257. You could have got plus 575 on Brendan Allen. So if you're thinking actually. I don't want to bet Brendan Allen's money line. 
I don't want to take the chance of inside the distance. I want better odds than that. I want to go straight for submission because I don't think that he's going to have much chance of knocking his opponent out if that's what your trainer thought was. And he decided, you know, 28% at plus 257 compared to the plus 575 that I'm going to be getting at the bookies. Good value, good logic in the way that you bet. And again, it would have been a cashed winning ticket. However, we go that one step further and it's not often we go these four full steps because you are getting into very unlikely scenarios, but scenarios we give you with the base AI UFC prediction software, nonetheless. Brendan Allen to win via submission in round one was 19%. So that's actually quite high for a method of victory and a specific round. Odds implied, that's plus 419. So like I said, it's not something that is likely to happen because you are, it is a four to one underdog betting ticket. However, that was probably his best win condition. If he was to finish, it was more than likely going to be a submission. It was more than likely going to be in round one, whilst they're both fresh, whilst both fighters are dry. Plus 419, Bayes AI is saying that it should be. You'd have got plus 1500 on the bookies betting line, and that's insane. You've got a plus 1500 ticket on round one submission. You've got a plus 575 ticket on a submission in general. You've got a plus 275 ticket on Brendan Allen to win inside the distance, which includes your knockout and DQ. And then even on the money line, you've got a plus number there as well. So plus numbers across the board. And obviously all that happened. Brendan Allen won the fight, beat Christoph Jotko by submission in round one. Absolute gems all over the place there. So really, really happy with how that played out. And it was a very, very, very solid prediction from Bayes AI. And finally, we're just going to end with the surprise losses. We are transparent here. Not everything's a winner. Guido Canetti versus Randy Costa. Now, Bayes AI had Randy Costa winning at 63%. Odds implied, that's minus 170. He was minus 300 on the betting line. So again, I suppose one good side of this is that Bayes AI did say that the odds were too wide, it should have been much closer. Like I said, Bayes AI said that the odds should have been minus 170. The bookies were saying minus 300. So that could have potentially even saved you money. You know, if you were liking Randy Costa and you went via Bayes AI saying he should be minus 170, but then you looked at the bookies and he was minus 300 and you thought, actually, no, that, that's off and I'll pass on that, then maybe you would have saved money by that. But ultimately, Guido Canetti did win. And Guido, Guido Canetti to win was at 37%. Odds implied plus 170. He was plus 250 on the betting line. So again, if you did want any sort of value shot on Canetti, even though the AI had him quite low at 37%, then it would have been a cash ticket for you. But for me, it was a surprise loss from Bayes AI's outright pick prediction and also from Randy Costa's perspective as well because I did think Randy Costa was going to go out there put it on Guido Canetti and knock him out in round one and it was completely the other way around Canetti started faster he started harder kicked Randy Costa down to the ground and ultimately got a no hooks rear naked choke on him so like I said a solid performance from Guido Canetti what would have happened if the fight had played out a couple of minutes longer who knows but ultimately it does fall into that surprise losses section because Bayes AI had him at 63%, which is relatively a relatively comfortable prediction for Bayes AI. And I also thought Randy Costa was going to smoke him as well. So like I said, um, definitely falls into the surprise losses, but all in all, a good event again from Bayes AI. I'm happy with it. And there's no UFC next week. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks with the Bayes AI recap from UFC Vegas 62, which will be headlined by Alexa Grasso and Viviane Araujo. So I'm interested to see where Bayes AI is on that fight specifically. Looking forward to breaking that down as well. It's all on the MMA Play 365 YouTube channel. I'm Newsom. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks.